worked so hard on Little Man Kate and it didn't get uh, maybe as much recognition about it as my own. This film was also great, but it wasn't as personal for you. Could you contrast for us your feelings about those two movies? Gee, well, I totally disagree. <laughs> Got more box office than I ever expected, and it certainly has been very, very well received. It's a very small movie, and uh, I don't have any bones about that, certainly, if that's what you're looking for. Um, I love Silence. I, uh, it's a movie that stuck with me, and I think in some ways is um, so um, beautifully crafted because it's both very complex and very literary, and at the same time, great entertainment. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really can't think of a... Um, a more beautifully and more balanced uh, movie to your character. Did, did that character stay with you I guess because we're all haunted in the theater, we have a feeling that you must have been haunted too. I think you're more interested in the... Well, I, I really enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the making of it. I enjoyed Jonathan Demme and, uh, and Tony Hopkins. And uh, there really wasn't a moment that I could say that I was happy about all the shooting. It. And, and, all day that it was a very dramatic movie. I like doing dramas, uh, so uh, that's, um, that's what I do. So uh, I enjoyed it. How much more preparation is there directing a film versus acting? <laughs> I'll leave it two more years, I think, probably. Um, I'm not so sure that the preparation necessarily is different, but it's much longer. Um, I think I, I probably looked at it the same way I've always looked at acting, which is, um, identifying whatever it is that you're trying to say and then trying to execute it. And it's kind of as simple as that, trying to tell a story. Um, but with the directing, because um, it's sort of the ultimate vision, um, there's obviously a lot more time spent, a lot more energy. You certainly experienced that winning awards. Um, are you allowing yourself to with the idea of an Oscar nomination for this movie? Uh, well, yeah, you know, it, um, as much as I, I enjoy all of this and I appreciate it and I am grinning ear to ear, it still feels like a big, uh, a big roulette wheel to me. So uh, I just uh, I laugh a lot when it happens and I don't worry about it too much when it doesn't. But how many awards before? What does winning awards mean to your life and your career? Oh boy, I guess that's a big question. I mean, um, does it mean anything as in does it change things? Probably not. However, um, what I think it reinforces uh, if, if in fact you've won something for something that was an instinctual choice or a choice that came from the heart, it just shows you that you don't have to do a movie that you don't like um, and that you will be rewarded for things that you believe in. And that may be completely stupid, that may not be true at all, but uh, it's a little piece of confidence that I hope to belong to. What do you say you love silence? Yes. I, I think it's a wonderful, well, one, it's a wonderful movie. I think it's a, a really finely drafted movie. And as I said before, it has um, two very wonderfully balanced sides to it. One is that it's very literary and very 